Hi everybody, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of a brand new Aesthetico wig with a fully hand-tied cap. This wig is called Kira and the color on Kira is R30-2826. And it is a very, very beautiful coppery blonde blend. It has um, equal parts of a natural medium auburn, which is the darker shade, a 28, which is a light coppery auburn, and then you have a 26, which is a um, kind of like a butterscotch blonde color. It's like a golden blonde with like a little bit of auburn in it. It's a very, very pretty shade with lots of tone and highlight variation. Very, very pretty. This is actually a customer favorite color, so I figured this would be a good one to try on Kira. One thing I will say about Kira that I noticed right away is that she stretches like whoa. She stretches a lot. <laughs> Here, let me grab the sides and I'll show you. Like, I can shove my whole hand up into this wig and there's my head. This wig stretches a lot around the perimeter which is sort of unique among hand tied caps. So this cap is super super duper comfortable um, especially if you got a big head like me. Super 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 comfortable and a very classic um, bob with a very long side swept bang. In fact I wouldn't even consider this a bang. It's just really long and to be swept off to the side. Um, so let me tell you, the front is 6.75 inches. That's very long. The crown is 11.75 inches. So again, it's quite long. So it is definitely cut more like a traditional bob. And then it has this kind of framing stuff around the front. So let me show you here. Very, very pretty. So, and then there's this side. And here's that top. You can see that monofilament. It's a light color, so the effect of the cap is kind of muted by that, but it does look very, very natural. And the great thing about the uh, monofilament on here is that it goes a little bit further than your traditional monofilament. It goes all the way back to here. So even if someone is staring directly at your crown, they're still going to see individually hand-tied knots. So it's going to be very, very, very natural looking. Um, so I love that because somebody could stare directly at the top of your head. And unless they're a real keen wig aficionado, and even then, sometimes they're never going to be able to tell. This wig would work very well also with a bang cut into it, either a fringy one or a blunt one. You could have your stylist modify that for you if you don't like these longer layers in the front. I'll tuck that behind the ear so you can see what that looks like. Gives you a good amount of hair to work with. This I would consider a natural volume of hair though. Um, it's definitely not the same as like a high fashion wig, which tends to err on the side of more is always better. Um, in this kind of wig, they're going for a very natural effect. So it's very lightweight, very, very lightweight. And the uh, amount of hair you're getting, like I said, is very natural. So very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and take this off to show you the cap since that's where the money is at, so to speak. So, like I said, 100% hand-tied cap, and this gel strip indicates to you that this wig has a little hint of a widow's peak, which is kind of cool. It's not a full-on widow's peak, but it does give you that little bit of an arch so that if you do have one, it'll help cover that up just a little bit. But it's not so dramatic that if you don't have one, it'll cost you me. It won't. It'll look very, very natural. It has this gel grippy thing right um, at the edge of the hairline, so no lace front on this one, though the monofilament does go all the way up to the edge of that gel grip. And like I said, the top part goes a little bit deeper, and then you have this beautiful hand-tied back and side, 
And let me show you what these knots in the back look like. They're very evenly spaced. And they don't seem to be particularly thick. The darker ones look a little thicker than the lighter ones, but that's just a variation of color. And so you can see through that, but that's in the very, very back. And if you're wearing a wig cap, no one will be able to tell. I always advocate wearing a wig caps, especially if you still have a little bit of bio hair left, um, because not only will it help if you get a monofilament top to make it more uniform underneath, but it helps keep the itchiness down. Um, I actually find that wearing a wig cap helps prevent my wigs from getting too hot and itchy. Um, I know everybody's a little different, but I, I really like wearing them. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Now I do recommend whenever you get a really straight style like this, and you can see that little hint of a widow's peak I was talking about. I always like that when they do a, a variation on the hairline, not to go on a tangent, but it looks a little bit more natural when it's not completely um, rounded. You can part this in any direction you want. And like I was saying before, I recommend carrying a wide tooth wig comb with you or a uh, synthetic safe loop ended wig brush because they really help you smooth the hair out. I generally prefer the combs though because there's a little less friction involved, though they won't get all the tangles out. But sometimes it's kind of a good thing because you don't want to pull the hair because it will distort it. So this wonderful, comfortable, very cute, um, and very professional looking bob is called Kira and she's 100% hand tied and the cap on this hand tied wig could fit a large head very easily. It's very, very stretchy. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section of this video. Again, my name is Heather and I'm from Sister Wigs. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.